from the session that we just conducted, women have told us how they provide the bulk of labor to agriculture and how they should benefit from this um, labor that they provide and how that has impact on how they are going to uh, relate with trade, but also at the same time, issues of how they own land, especially through male relatives. The grassroots women from Ethiopia told us that even their names cannot appear on documents that uh, speak about land ownership. And this shows it's going to be very hard for them to determine what crops they grow, to determine the proceedings from um, the market, but also to make decisions. And if you cannot make decisions, then you're also not empowered to benefit from trade. But also at the same time, women have, showed, have told us that they are at the lowest level of the value chain of agriculture. They are majorly at the production level where they provide labor, but they would love to enjoy from the higher levels of the value chain because that is where the money is. That is where most benefits are. So it's very important to address issues of tenure security for young women, for women, for youth to see that they benefit from engaging in agriculture, but which crops and everything they take to the market. So women's land rights are very crucial if we want to propel them to benefit from the market.